Hi everyone, we're going to create a filter in Revit today to match the appearance profiler, which was a request just to match the Navisworks appearance profiler video. So I'm going to do a simple cable trace, I'm just going to duplicate this one here a couple of times and create filters to suit. So I actually already have the filter started, so I'm going to load in here my filter set for service type. So each time I pick the name in service type which matches my filter, my cable trays are going to match the color so I'm going to show in the end first at this video so you can see that the filter is working and then we're going to flick on and show you how to set it up so we're just going you know LV comms fire simple names but these are kind of common what you're going to find in projects so then we go lighting with this one I suppose The colors, I'm, not, I'm just using any colors to be honest, I'm not too picky. I'm just using each individual different kind of color each time. So there we have green. And now we're going ELV for, should be Scion, lovely. That's our cable trace. Now what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll delete the filters. So if I do VV, you'll see there's actually a view template in, in place here because I can't do anything here. So that means there's a view template. So go into our template, find our electrical view, and then go to filters. There they are there. So we're going to have to remove each one of these. Now once they're removed, they'll all go back to plain black no colors so our filters are removed and we're going to have to start from scratch show you how to create the filters and we're going to do the same thing we're going to select them we're going to add them in and we're going to go by service type it's important really important and emphasis on the fact that you must have it set to equals on the right hand side there so we're going to delete all these and um, this bit can't be sped up well it can be sped up if you want to skip it but um in Revit you can't do this multiple times you got to do each one individually so it's a bit of a pain but I don't want to duplicate yet but it can be as you can see you can duplicate and rename here or create new so once they're all deleted we'll go create new we'll name it so you want to name it the same as what your service type is going to be so it's nice and easy for you to know so this is going to start off a fire cable tray we'll do this one and then we'll check and see if it works so we'll go cable tray cable tray fittings we're going to go service type and we're going to go equals and then we're going to type in our name which is fire cable tray it comes up already now we have to add it in so we go to add fire cable tray here we go we pick our color so solid fill and red Okay, we'll close out of that then and we will just see if it works. So lovely, it works. Now we'll just go back in, duplicate that each time and just show that it's working. So because we already have one working filter, we can actually just duplicate this multiple times. And then if we rename each filter to suit the service type of each cable tray, and just change the color at the end when we add them in it's the quickest way to do it in my opinion so because we changed the service type we just got to change the name here on the right hand side as well it's important because each one is called fire cable tray because we duplicated that one so then we put comms And you'll notice I'm leaving one blank so when I check them the next time I'll have all except one will be in color just so we're really fully sure how we'll do it we'll do the last one singly on its own at the end 
and I'm showing here that if you don't add them in, it won't work. Just because you create the filter, it doesn't mean it's going to work. You got to go in and you have to actually add the filter. So I'm struggling to click the button here. So you have to add the filter as we did the first time. You must follow those steps. If you don't follow those steps, it's not going to work. Good news here is you can add more than one. So you can multiple select or you can do singly, however you want. But you still got to go you know, select if you want to be solid. I'm going to go solid each time and just change the color. That's nice and easy to see. lovely now we load this in and all except one will be in color perfect so then just to emphasize the process here we do this singly one more on the lighting cable tray which hasn't changed color because we didn't create a filter for this so you have to do all the steps again We'll just duplicate one of these. No problem. We could go new and do the steps, but it's easier to duplicate because they're all the same. And we gotta change the lighting. Change it here as well, the right hand side, very important. Okay, add it in and pick the color. And solid fill, beautiful. Now when this changes, okay, that's how you do the filters. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe.